48 hours before an election on Tuesday. And you know, you've got Debbie Downer up here. <laughs> I warned everybody two years ago what might happen. Now here's the good news. I don't feel like I did two years ago. But watch Saturday Night Live, and I'm one of those Democrats that's in the skit. And it is going to rain. You know, they vote, uh, President Trump says that this election is about four issues. He says Kavanaugh, and I think we've discussed Kavanaugh up here enough, but not the Kavanaugh with the K. That's why we need the Kavanaugh with the C. Don't forget what's at stake. We haven't talked about the caravan. His second's caravan. We have got to stop dividing this country with fear and hatred. The women and that are in that caravan are women that are trying to escape human trafficking. Bethany, which for all what you might think of who funds it, is doing good work. And they talk about how they've taken care of two children whose mother, grandmother, whose mother was working here legally and grandmother got beaten up by gangs. And they were trying to put the two daughters into human trafficking. And Bethany took these children to save them. Each of these People have an individual story and they're coming to America for hope and vision. That's who we are in this country, a country of vision and hope. Not borders that are sending 15,000 troops. It's ugly and not right. And we got DACA students from the University of Michigan. We've got a state, we've got these kids that are, have lived there their whole life. They're paying taxes, they're fighting in the military. We have to do something for these kids. Third, he says law enforcement. Sheriff Jerry Clayton, Prosecutor Kim Worthy are what law enforcement is. And we want a governor that's going to make sure that that is right. And his fourth is common sense. Well, you're right. <laughs> common sense isn't electing anybody who supports the vision of dividing this country with fear and hatred. <laughs> common sense is electing all of these people up here and putting Gretchen Whitmer in the chief executive office to fight for working men and women again. It's gonna rain, and uh, you know, I, I'm, what I'm really worried about is making sure that everybody works their heart and soul out for the next 48 hours. We gotta hit those doors, we gotta make those phone calls. We've gotta make sure that everybody knows that their vote matters, that they can't stay home. I hate the discussion of the blue wave because people take for granted. It puts the cart before the horse. Every person's vote matters, democracy, matters when people engage. So you care, you're here tonight, but you know five other people. You're gonna to go to work tomorrow, you might go grocery shopping, you might get your nails done, go to the barber shop, everybody you talk to. And washed and all, we gotta beat what we did two years ago. We are gonna be the largest turnout in the state. So, just here to tell you how proud I am to stand with everybody in this entire ticket and what they mean for the future of this state. So I look forward to celebrating America Tuesday night. Because I look forward. Let's remember when people say what's this election about? United we stand, divided we fall. Let's work for people that are going to unite us. And now, A man that has become a very good friend. Someone with vision, energy, passion, cares about everyday working people, spends time talking to the children. Yes, he's got twins that are great. But to seniors that are worried about what's, you know, I, he cares and he believes that every American's got a right to affordable quality health care, which is what Gretchen and he are going to work for. So, Please 
I call us Mutt and Jeff. I'm the Mutt. He's the. But please, re please welcome the next Lieutenant Governor of the state of Michigan. It takes a lot of work to be in the choir. You got to go to choir rehearsal twice a week. You have to memorize the songs. You have to sing in unison. What that means is we all have to work together and come together so our voices can be heard, so we can sing a song so loud, so proud, and so beautiful that everybody will feel like they are a part of what we want to do together. And that's exactly what this tour, and exactly what these stops, and exactly what this election is all about. How can our collective power be felt in every community, from my hometown of Detroit, to where I went to college here in Ann Arbor, all the way to the Upper Peninsula and across the state of Michigan, that we will make clear what our values are. And that no person, no hater, no fear mongerer, no person who's an enemy of progressive values can stand between us and an inclusive future in the state of Michigan. Everybody's ready to step up for that, right? Well, that just doesn't come by itself. We have to work for it. We have to fight for it. We have to push through any obstacle. And I want to challenge these weather reports that say that how much is going to rain or what's going to happen. I want to challenge that because we're more powerful than any rain. Because we, with our actions, with our footsteps, with our effort, with our phone calls, with our text messages, with our door knocks, we can overpower any storm that tries to keep us down because nothing is more powerful than our progressive values and our big vision for the future. So are you gonna step up on Tuesday? Are you gonna make sure everybody votes? Are you gonna stand tall with Gretchen Whitmer and Garland Gilchrist? Our destiny is so big, y'all. It is so big. Michigan, you've heard people on the stage talk about a beacon and how Michigan can be a beacon for the entire country. I believe that. See, I brought my family here, my wife and my twin, children when they were 10 months old because I knew Michigan was the place for their future to be built. That needs to be true for every person, every family, in every community all across the state of Michigan. And Gretchen Whitmer is going to get that done for us, y'all. So are you ready to elect Gretchen Whitmer the next governor of Michigan? Are you ready to step up? Come on to the stage, the next governor, Gretchen Whitmer. Judy will too. All right, my friends here in Ann Arbor, we are so thrilled to be here with you. We have been traveling the state, seven day bus tour, 77 stops. We are working until the last vote is cast, and I know you are too, because we know what is really on this ballot. It's not just these great people that have put their names forward and done the hard work. Clean water is on this ballot. LGBT civil rights are on this ballot. Healthcare is on this ballot. Women's autonomy over our bodies is on this ballot. The education of our children is on this ballot. And the damn roads are on this ballot too. for governor for almost 700 days. We got 48 hours left and we all have to be a part of this because we have resisted, we have marched, we have rallied, we have protested from the women's march to an immigration rally to health care demonstrations. We have gotten together to protest what is happening. It is our time to lead, but we don't get that chance if we don't turn out on Tuesday. The last 700 days and all of those rallies don't matter if we don't keep our foot on the gas for this last 48 hours. We must all roll up our sleeves, get out our umbrellas, microwave the dinner, eat a vegetable, take a cat nap, and get back out there until the last vote is counted. The kids will be all right if you go through the drive-thru, right? 
but they won't be all right if we don't deliver on Tuesday. And that's the whole point. That's why every one of us is doing this. Running for office is not for wussies. These are tough people, bright people, brilliant people, trying to do the right thing. But we need you because elections are won or lost by the work that you do. The doors and the phone calls, the social media posts, that's where elections are won or lost. So if you can sign up for another shift, if you can reach out to Donna and sign up to drive people on Tuesday, if you can do more, I ask that you do. Because we are poised for what could be record turnout. We are poised to pull as many people into office that we could change the whole complexion of the legislature, which means we will change the whole complexion of this state. But we have to deliver. So, after here, I'm okay if you go home and get a good night's sleep. But tomorrow, I need you to roll up your sleeves and jump in. And I want you to know how much I appreciate it. We know we didn't get this far alone. We know we're not gonna get over the finish line alone. And here's what I also know. When we win, we're not going to the governor's residence alone. We're all going. Thank you, let's get it done.